Hey everyone, today's video is about when you almost die in front of them. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. The sun hangs low in the sky, casting a golden glow over the training grounds of Yui High School. You stand between Bakugo and Kirishima, your breath coming in steady pants after an intense sparing session. Damn it. Why do you always have to push yourself like this? Bakugo growls though his voice carries a note of concern. He wipes a sweat from your forehead and grin up at him. Because I have to keep up with you two. Kurishima chuckles, his red eyes softening as he looks at you. You're doing great, babe. We're proud of you. And before you can respond, a loud explosion echoes from the nearby forest. Your instincts kick in immediately, and you'll sprint towards the source of the noise. As you reach the clearing, you see a group of villains, wreaking havoc, their eyes wild with chaos. We need to stop them. You say, your voice steady despite the fear, gnawing at your insides. Stay behind us. Bakugo commands, his palms already crackling up with explosions. No way. We're doing this together. Kurishima nods in agreement, hardening his skin. She's right. We're a team. The battle was fierce. Bakugo's explosions light up the area, while Kurishima's unbreakable form shields you from harm. You use your quirk to assist them, working in perfect harmony. But as the fight drags on, you notice one of the villains targeting Bakugo from behind. Bakugo, watch out. You scream, throwing yourself in front of him. The villain's attack hits you square in the chest, sending you flying backwards. Pain explodes in your body, and you feel yourself slipping into unconsciousness. No. Bakugo's voice is a mixture of rage and desperation as he catches you before you hit the ground. Kirishima is at your side in an instant, his face pale with fear. Hang on, babe. Stay with us. Your vision blurs, but you manage to focus on their faces. I'm sorry. I couldn't let them hurt you. Don't you dare apologize. Bakugo says, his voice breaking. You're gonna be fine, you hear me. Just hang on. Kurishima grips your hand tightly. We need to get you to recovery, girl. Right now. They move quickly, carrying you between them. The pain is overwhelming but tickling to consciousness, focusing on their voices. You're gonna be okay. Bakugo keeps repeating, as if saying it enough times will make it true. And Kurishima does not speak. His jaw clenched tight, but his grip on your hand never falters. You can feel his strength and love through his touch, grounding you in that moment. When you finally reach recovery girl, she springs into action immediately, her face a mask of concentration. Bakugo and Kurishima are forced to wait outside, the worry palpable. Minutes stretch into what feels like hours, and Bakugo paces back and forth, his explosion small and controlled, a sign of his inner turmoil. Kirishima sits with his head and his hands, muttering prayers under his breath. Finally, recovery girl emerges, her expression tired but relieved. She's stable. She'll need time to recover, but she's going to be okay. The tension in the air breaks and both boys sag with relief. Bakugo doesn't wait for permission. He storms into the room and kneels by your bed, taking your hand in his. Don't you ever do something so reckless again. He whispers, his voice thick with emotion. I can't lose you. And Kirishima follows, sitting on the other side of your bed. He's right, babe. We're a team. We protect each other. And you manage a weak smile squeezing their hands. I'm sorry. I couldn't let them hurt you. Bakugo leans down, pressing a gentle kiss to your forehead. Just promise me that you'll be more careful. I promise. You whisper, feeling the weight of your emotions, pulling you under. But before sleep takes you, you feel their presence surrounding you in a protective shield of love and string. And as you drift off, you know that no matter what challenges come your way,
you'll face them together. Several days passed, and you remained under recovery girl's care, regaining your strength bit by bit. Bakugo and Kirishima rarely leave your side, taking shifts to ensure one of them is always with you. Their unwavering presence is a source of comfort and motivation, driving you to heal faster. One evening, as the sun sets and the room is bathed in a warm, golden light, you stir awake to find Kirishima sitting beside you, his head resting on the edge of your bed. He looks exhausted but peaceful, his hand still holding yours. You squeeze his hand gently, and his eyes flutter open. He strengthens up, and a relieved smile spreads across his face. Hey, how are you feeling? Better, you reply, your voice still a little weak but stronger than before. Thanks to you two. Kirishima chuckles softly, leaning down to press a kiss to your forehead. We were too scared, you know, but you're tough. We knew you'd pull it through. As if on cue, Bakugo walks in, a tray of food in his hands. He pauses in the doorway, taking in the sight of you awake and talking. A rare soft smile tugs at his lips. About time you woke up. You smile back, feeling a warmth spread through your chest that has nothing to do with your injuries. Miss you, too. Bakugo sets the tray down on the bedside table and sits on the other edge of the bed, his intense gaze softening as he looks at you. You need to eat and get your strength back. Recovery girl says you're healing fast, but you need to take it easy for a while. You nod, reaching for the food. I will, I promise. Kirishima helps you set up, his movements careful and gentle. We've got your bag, babe. Whatever you need, we're here. As you eat, the conversation flows easily between the three of you, the atmosphere light and filled with a sense of relief and gratitude. Despite the recent scare, the bond between you feels even stronger, reinforced by the trials you have faced together. And later, as the night deepens and the room grows quieter, you lie back against the pillows, your eyes growing heavy, Baku and Kirishima sat on either side of the bed, their presence a comforting reminder that you're not alone. You know, you murmur, your voice drowsy. I never doubted for a second that you guys would save me. Kirishima smiles, his hand gently brushing a strand of hair away from your face. Would do anything for you. You're our world. Damn right. So no more taking hits for us. We're supposed to protect each other, remember? You nod. I do. And as you drift off to sleep, you feel their hands holding yours, their warmth and strength surrounding you. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye.